Yo, what's up guys? We are out here in front of a property that a wholesaler sent to us and just wanted to do a quick walkthrough, give you guys some insight as to what Mike and I look at. We're gonna go take a look and do a quick walkthrough. So let's go check it out. Guys, we are out here in front of a property that a wholesaler sent to and just wanted to do a quick walkthrough, give you guys some insight as to what Mike and I look at and you know do whenever we're out looking at a, a property. So we are at 2323 Spencer, and is this Overland? I think this is like the Overland St. Louis area. Uh, we own one two or three blocks down the street, um, on the street already, so that's why we are kind of interested to come from. Uh, because again, we already have one on the street in the neighborhood. Uh, let's pan over this way a little bit. You know, it's a quiet street, uh, smaller homes. Pan this way too. You know, it looks like most of these houses are brick, uh, at least on the street, on that side of the street, not so much. Uh, but again, just a small little house, and it's gonna need a ton of work, but we're gonna go take a look and do a quick walkthrough. So let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. All, right, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, Woo. we just walked inside and it stinks in here. It's supposedly, according to the tenant next door, the neighbor, uh, he's been living there for two years and he said that he, he had thought that this house had been vacant for about a year before he moved in. So roughly two to three years, oh man, it stinks in here, two to three years vacant and it looks and smells like it's been vacant for two to three years. A uh, very small little house, so you got a little cove right over here to the side, a little family room-esque area. Here's our bathroom. I can get my flashlight out to make it a little brighter. Looks like the bathroom's pretty nasty. There is a door over there, which I'd assume connects. Here, watch your step, Holly. Yeah, there's the door there. So here's a bedroom. Man, this is only a 1-1, one -one, so it's tiny. Pretty nasty kitchen. I mean, everything is gonna have to need to be gutted out of here for the most part. I don't like the fact that it's a one one at all. Let's go downstairs. Sometimes we might be able to add some bonus area. Some bonus area to the basement. Watch your step. Watch your head too. To see if we can maybe squeeze another bedroom in or just a bonus sleeping area. Now the basement's actually the best part of this house. It doesn't stink down here nearly as bad as it does upstairs. You have a walkout door right there, which is nice. And there is a detached... It's like a hundred copper balls. Yeah, I know. These... It's crazy, these copper balls. Whew, man. All right, so here's our gas meter. We just got a bunch of storage. Here's our utility closet. We do have a newer water heater in here, which is Hi. surprising. And you know, the fact that we still have all of our, the fact that we have all of our copper intact over here is actually quite amazing. You would think that people would break in and, and steal the copper. HVAC doesn't look terrible. Line set's still intact. And the water heater's in decent shape. Water heater looks new. Yeah, you got copper water lines. Here's where the water comes into the house right here. And the uh, the lines going up are all intact. So the fact that the house hasn't been broken into and the copper's stolen. What's over there? It's kind of crazy. That's where we walked down the stairs. Oh, wow. Yeah, we walked around, remember? Yeah, that is weird. Yep. And it uh, has washer and dryer hookups right here. Stacks, PVC. So that's, you know, nice as it's, you know, been replaced somewhat recently. Probably not too recently, maybe five to ten years ago. 220 line for our dryer. I mean, these appliances are shot. They're old and rusted and nasty. So, you know, it's still a 1-1. One -one. It does have this bonus down here. Let's go do a walk around the outside of the house. Check in for an animal. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let's go walk around the outside of the house and see what we got going. Watch your step and your head here. Oh man. Ooh, Smells like money, money baby. <laughs> Smells like money. It's only a one one though. Where do you see the second bedroom at? Right there, baby. Oh yeah, I guess you could put a wall right here. Wall and a door, you got a two one. The basement's actually pretty nice. Is it? Wall and a door. Size. And Mike, I like where your head's at, man. Yeah, the basement's the best part of this house. Let's go outside where it doesn't stink so bad. 
The windows are actually in not terrible shape. They're vinyl. They need to be all cleaned up pretty good. Let's walk around. We got this huge tree in the front yard. I'm not a huge fan of trees because it's gonna drop stuff on the roof and it just creates yard work. If you look at this slab right here on the front porch, it looks like it's starting to separate a little bit. They've even done some work up against the house to connect it. I mean, it's not terrible, but at some point that's gonna need to be repaired. The driveway between this house and the next is shared. So, you know, it's not ideal, but at the end of the day, it's in good shape. There's no major cracks or anything. Uh, the roof on this one looks pretty dated. So it's gonna probably need to be uh, swapped out at some point. Let's walk around back. There is a big detached garage, which is nice. I don't have my microphone today, so the sound might not be the best, but that's okay. The basement windows are dated and there's some cracks in those, so we need to swap out these basement windows. But again, the upstairs windows are vinyl, most of them at least, which is nice. The soffit looks like it's in good shape. The house does have gutters, which is nice. Uh, detached garage, which is good. The, the, the next door neighbor or tenant said that, uh, that it was packed to the brim with stuff, so that's fun. Um, and he's obviously using some of this back here to store some of his stuff, which is fine. This lower sliding door is actually in pretty decent shape. Might need a new handle, and it's open. Ish. Which is uh, kind of wild. I'm not seeing a condenser. I do see a condenser now. It's right up here on the side. Um, and again, that line set, at least on the inside, was still intact. So I don't know if that works or not. Again, this has probably been vacant for two or three years. So it's hard to, to say if it's going to work or not. But it might be something that we could, you know, get up and running pretty easily with just some maintenance and or just swap out the condenser if the inside stuff is, is intact. Uh, you got a pretty good size lot here going back behind the garage. Garage doesn't look like it's in terrible shape, but would probably most likely need a roof. All in all, if we could convert this from a 1-1 to a 2-1 and get it rented, I mean, we're gonna probably have to spend every bit of 35, 40,000. Um, I think the ARV on this particular house has a 2-1, it's probably somewhere around 100,000, 100, 90 to 100. And I wanna say the asking price on this was about 30. So if we bought it for 30, we put 40 in it, that would be 70,000. Um, and if we could sell it for about 100, you know, that'd probably yield us 25-ish thousand after, you know, costs and commissions, give or take. So it's not a home run deal. Could make for a good burr, but with interest rates, it'd be difficult to actually get this thing to cash flow. ARV is about 100 as a 2-1, mm -hmm. give or take. So asking's 30. Right around there. Right around yeah. there. So, might want to offer 20. See if we can maybe pick it up for 20. If it's 20, we would probably put 40 in it, be into it for 60. Get it rented, sell a turnkey for 100. Yeah. Maybe make about I mean, 25 or 30,000, give or take. Yep. On it. So, we'll let you know what we decide to do. Today's just initial walkthrough. And uh, again, we don't own this one. We're just walking through it, seeing if it's going to make sense for us. We own one up the street, so we're always curious to see what's happening on, in, on streets and in neighborhoods where we're already investing. Thanks, guys.